Yoyogi National Second Gymnasium, where all my dreams came true. This is where the first soundtrack festival of its kind was held, featuring anime soundtracks from four different composers and spearheaded by Hayashi Yuki, who's most famously known for the soundtracks of Haikyuu and My Hero Academia. And let me tell you, I am a huge fan of Hayashi Yuki, and this is proof. Anyway, although I came for Hayashi Sensei, this concert blew my expectations out of the water and I want to share with you how awesome it was. Disclaimer, my intent is not to provide footage of the event, but to offer unsolicited commentary. Please enjoy. Makoto Miyazaki, whose notable soundtracks include One Punch Man and Spy Family, opens the event. It's interesting to see that guitar is his instrument of choice. You'll see that the other composers all favor some version of the keyboard. Yuri Nakamura on sex. I was so happy to see her as I've become a fan through footage of her other appearances at Hayashi's events. It's just so fun to watch her perform. It's clear that the soundtracks aren't 100% live instrumentalists. It's particularly obvious with the vocal synths that they use because there aren't any live singers. Introducing Nikki, she helped co-write the Spy Family insert song Breeze. Even though these two write music together, there's a shy hesitance between these two. Maybe it's the nerves of being in front of an unfamiliar audience, but they are just so polite with each other. Being very honest here, as a native English speaker, this song is not very good, but it was really fun to see Nikki perform. She has a lot of nice hand gestures and facial expressions. Of course, I've listened to Takanashi's music a lot, but I've never even seen a picture of him, so I was very surprised that he has this kind of style. I've also never seen a guitar in my life, but he's really rocking it. Can you believe this man is 60? Fairy Tale has always been one of my favorite soundtracks ever, but I didn't listen to it as much as I would have liked because the pictures people would upload the music with on YouTube would be you know.
フェアリーテール、えー、これ推しがありましたエルザ推しなんですね<笑>エルザ推しの方いますかねあの皆さんそれぞれ推しがあると思うんですけれどもエルザ系2連発いきたいと思いますエルザ系2連発いきたいと思いますエルザ系2連発いきたいと思います。ルルルルルルルルルルルルルルちょっともうちょっと反応してくんねえかなわーとか頼むよ<笑>遠心 BGM わーっていうところねこれモモミヤいちご役の天馬ゆうきちゃんですこんにちは Introducing a voice actress from the anime Tokyo Mew Mew New ご紹介ありがとうございます、はい、改めましてモモミヤいちご役の天馬ゆうきでーす She doesn't seem to be smiling with her eyes, but somehow they're super sparkly. Guys, I literally don't know how I ended up in an idol concert, but it's entertaining. It's uniquely Japanese.
very short interlude by Takahiro Obata. It's the man himself! I actually do like this track. It was on my playlist way before the concert, but it's um, way out of my genre. funny how afterwards Hayashi Sensei was trying really hard to convince us all to get into men's rhythmic gymnastics. I do really love his origin story though. Hayashi was a collegiate rhythmic gymnast and first became interested in music when he cut and pieced together different songs for his gymnastic routines. Hayashi Sensei honestly talks so much, but I think some of the things he has to say is pretty interesting. This multi collaborative anime soundtrack concert is actually the first of its kind, and he talks about the difficulties in starting up something new like this. <laughs> なんでこんな劇版のフェスがないんだろうって思った時にですね。偶然それの前にあのお食事会みたいな作家のお食事会があって高梨さんと僕その時に初めてお会いできたんですね。で、すごいなんかもう僕らからしたら大先輩というか大
<笑>そんなことがーって言って冗談で言ってたら「いやほんなんか本当にやってるんです」って言われて調べたら宮崎さんの奥様だったんですよ。<笑>マジでと思ってだから同じ学校のその同じクラスで同じ班だったこともあるんですよだから宮崎さんの娘ちゃんとうちの息子が。でそれで宮崎さんと授業参観で初めてお会いして<笑>なんか少年漫画を字でいくような感じに生きようと思っていてあのできないって言われてもやってみないと分かんないじゃんと思ってやろうと普段思ってます子供にも「やってみないと分かんないでしょ」って言ってるくせに親父ができてないのはかっこ悪いなと思うんで世界で。日本で世界で今までなかった劇場のフェスという形ができたらいいなと思ったんですけれども。So many soundtracks are written for specific anime moments in mind, but sometimes they don't get used the way the composer intended. And I know this happens a lot with the tracks that Hayashi writes for My Hero Academia in particular. So it's kind of interesting because for this concert, it's flipped. The anime clips are chosen to suit the music instead of cutting the music to sync with the anime. Watch him flip his hair like the cool boss he is. Have you ever thought that it's so unfair how someone can be so talented and also so good looking? It's criminal. Introducing Aya Pitta, the co writer for Hero 2. Yay! The recorded version is sung by Chrissy Costanza, but now Aya Pitta is singing it. I really dislike this song, but if this song is supposed to be written by the character Jido, who is a 15 year old girl who spends most of her time training to be a hero, then they understood the assignment. But that doesn't stop me from cringing whenever I listen to it. And that concludes the manifestation of my dreams. I'm very thankful for these guys as they power my workouts and my work and my studies and my long drives through their music. And if you made it this far through the video, I'm thankful for you too.